Oh my gosh, how good does that look? Golden oatmeal, comforting, good for body and soul. That's how I like to eat. Hi, I'm Kanchan. I grew up in India where spices are an integral part of our ancient medical system, but also our daily cooking. When I did my PhD in molecular cancer biology at Harvard Medical School, I became super passionate about the power of food and lifestyle so we can live our best, healthiest, most radiant lives. Through this channel, I'm on a mission to help you leverage the power of ancient wisdom, modern science, spices, functional foods, and lifestyle-based tools so you too can live long, healthier, vitality-filled lives. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It still feels weird to say my channel, but here we are. Today we're making oatmeal. And before you swipe left, right, up, whatever you do on YouTube to watch the next video, don't because oats have been around for millennia. And the reason they are a genuine superfood based on the science is that they contain very powerful prebiotic fibers, particularly something called beta-glucan, which feeds the beneficial bugs in your gut microbiome, moving it in a more anti-inflammatory state. Today, we're taking things up a notch by making gold golden oatmeal. We already know the oats are going to be anti-inflammatory for our guts and our gut microbiome, and we're adding more anti-inflammatory goodness to that with turmeric, some cinnamon, ginger, cardamom. Let's get cooking. We start by adding our oats and water to a pot and bring it to a boil. I like to do one cup of oats to about two and a half cups to three cups of water. We're gonna turn that on a high flame. First up, we're adding some vanilla extract, which is great for a mood boosting effect and a luxurious dessert-like flavor. Who doesn't want that for breakfast? And then I'm going in with a generous pinch of ginger and cinnamon. And then of course, no oatmeal in my books is complete without Cardi, also known as cardamom, floral, luxurious, also great for gut health. And a little pinch of salt because salt makes everything taste sweeter so you can get away with adding less added sugar or sweetener to your oatmeal. You'll notice that I haven't added the turmeric yet and there's a reason for that, which you're gonna find out in a second. Now we're just gonna reduce the heat and simmer this on a low flame for about 10 minutes, stirring often. This is really gonna help you develop that creamy texture that we all love in a comforting bowl of oatmeal. Oats can be a heavily contaminated food, which is why it's really important to pay attention to where you're getting your oats from. We've all heard of glyphosate, which can disrupt your microbiome and has been linked to cancer. Oats are heavily sprayed with glyphosate and buying organic oats will help you get around that, which is why I'm using Zigo Oats. This is not an ad. It's just an oat company that really tests for chemicals and third party verifies the purity of their oats. Plus they're a higher protein because they are not as processed so I find them incredibly satiating and filling. I'll link in the description box below. Now that my oats are nice and creamy, I am going to add my favorite plant-based milk, which is my homemade almond milk. You can use any plant-based milk. And then we're going to add our turmeric. Turmeric is fat soluble, especially the beneficial compound curcumin. It gets activated by heat and fat. So that's when I wanna add it and of course, a pinch of black pepper, because that's also going to boost the bioavailability of the curcumin. So it can do wonderful things for our health. And now I wanna share a little hack, which is just gonna help us be a little extra with the nutritional content of this amazing oatmeal. We're making a blend of Brazil nuts and flax seeds. Brazil nuts are extremely rich in selenium, which is really important for thyroid health. I get a lot of messages from women saying they are struggling with sluggish thyroid. This can really, really help. So we're dry toasting the nuts and the flax seeds to really wake up their oils, their volatile compounds. You don't wanna toast these for too long. You don't wanna burn them. And then we're gonna tip this over into our grinder. And now it's time to plate and taste our creamy, dreamy, golden oatmeal. So I'm just gonna ladle this into a bowl. And then we're sprinkling this with our flaxseed and Brazil nut powder. I like to top this with about a tablespoon of dried goji berries. And then if you'd like it a little bit sweet, I recommend pomegranate syrup. 
This is exactly how I like to start my day. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.